And it's gotta be Gentleman's Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another episode of the Color Commentary where we give you views From a different side, of course, that's what they do in, in Deadpool. They, they stole our stuff. <laughs> of course, I'm your host, Rashad Waters, the owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music and instruments all across the nation. But today, we're going to be talking about Deadpool 2, an incredible movie, finally a movie that all of us enjoyed. Can you believe it? Maybe we'll find some things we disagree about sometime as we're doing the show. But for right now, it's looking good, guys. <laughs> this movie just came out uh, last week. It's based off of the character Deadpool, who first appeared in the comic New Mutants, which was like a younger version of the X-Men. He was actually the main antagonist of the New Mutants. Well, not a main antagonist, but he was an antagonist of the New Mutants at that time. Uh, uh, very quickly, New Mutants, I think after episode 100, changed over to the series known as X-Force. X-Force, of course, you may recognize that name as the superhero team that backs up Deadpool in this movie. Uh, he was created by uh, comic book uh, writers Fabian Nassisia, yes, yes, yeah, and Rob Liefeld. Uh, so you probably know those names because of Deadpool. Anyway, this movie is doing amazingly. Uh, I think it has made $125 million. It's just its first weekend. I believe it is the number one R-rated movie of all time. Pro pro probably, be, I guess, beating out what it did last time. So <laughs> it's an incredible movie. Of course, it, it is a Marvel property, but it is not a part of the MCU. But that is not stopping Deadpool from making fun of all the other characters in the MCU and the DCEU. And pretty much anybody else he can think of, <laughs> including Yentl. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring on our co-host here, and let's get into the nitty-gritty of Deadpool 2. Let's go ahead and get you up first, Mr. Danny Quick. What's happening, sir? What's up, everybody? You know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick, uh, CEO of Fourth Wall Productions. And uh, I enjoyed the movie. I'm, I'm not going to be the contrarian this time. I, uh, I had a good time. Uh, laughing at it. It was extremely funny. It gave me all of my favorite things about Deadpool. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to complain about it at all. Uh, I, I, I did have a couple of things that I did want to, that made me not want to like it, but uh, <laughs> overall it was a, it was a great, it was a great movie. I'm not going to go as far. I, I've enjoyed it more than Infinity War, but uh, I'm not gonna. We'll save that conversation for another time. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, and there's our first contrarian point, but um, I might have liked it better than Infinity War too. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Charlie Taylor, <laughs> what's happening over there, man? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Chuck Taylor here, uh, calling our KFH party easy. I'm so excited about Deadpool. It was, it was a great. Great movie. I didn't know how I was gonna like. It. I was like, I really liked the first one, but I was like, well, it might get if they don't do something really different, like it might get a little stale. But no, this 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 was really fun, and I needed this after watching Infinity War. You know, still still sad for these guys. Yeah, totally <laughs> but uh, you know, so I needed something fun. I need something fun like this. I need something fun like Deadpool. To you know, get us in the shot. So the movie was great. I'm 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 enjoy reviewing it with you guys and seeing what we liked. And I don't think we should have that many dislikes. But let's go. You know, uh, Charlie, this is like you know, um, Infinity War is like a breakup. You know, man, it's like, man, you just you're just feeling real bad about yourself. And uh, Deadpool Two is like your friend coming over, man. Say, hey, man. Come on, man. Come on and have some fun with me. You know, we'll go out. we have some fun. We'll meet some people, man. That's exactly what Deadpool was. It just made you feel better about things. <laughs> That's a perfect analogy. That's a perfect analogy. <laughs> See, I'm still in my robe, right? Anyway, I've, I've been like this for a couple of days, a couple of weeks now since the Infinity War. Just sitting here. Yeah, nice. finally taking out. 
<laughs> All right, Danny. So let's talk about what we liked about this movie. Of course, uh, I didn't mention Ryan Reynolds, of course, is the star of this movie. He fought so hard in order to make the first one happen, and he succeeded in bringing this one to life. What did you like about Deadpool 2? I liked the juggernaut. Yo, <laughs> when that dude showed up, man, I was so excited. Like, I like I'm the only one in my family and my in my house who who really you know pays attention to comics or whatever. But when I saw that helmet, son, when I saw the helmet, I was like, it's the juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, that was dope to me. I, I I it's so there's so much I like, but that's my first one. My, my first thing that I like is the juggernaut. Well, the secrets. Like, usually I don't like uh, time travel sh uh, movies. I mean, I, I like time travel movies, but they're hard to uh, hard to, to pull off. Usually they did great with the time travel. Um, you know, they they gave this this movie had a lot of heart in it. I enjoyed that they, you know, him wanting to become a hero because he lost his he lost his wife. Um, you know, that usually bothers me when they, you know, do something. They kill a woman uh, just to make the other characters. Um, you know, better or whatever, like make them become more heroic. Um, even though I did it in Ace Blade, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. But um, so I enjoyed. I like that they gave this movie a lot of heart. It was about family. They they were really open about you know they were upfront about what what his mission was. And um, you know, Deadpool is one of my favorite. Um, comic book characters. I've I, even I, I wrote um, one of my first comic books that I wrote like comics was a Deadpool versus Ace play that you know that I did, and um, I just always loved Deadpool. He's one of my favorite things about him is that he's a one mission guy. Like ever in his comics, you'll see him. He does one mission. He'll do um, one one thing at a time, and uh and uh. That's all he. That's all he cares about. Sound like you got an invasion happening over there. <laughs> invasion. <laughs> uh, Charlie had that last week. Now it's your turn. Now yep. if some, if I have somebody roll it up on me, <laughs> opening the door, I'm sure I can get snatched up. Right. Exactly. It will be some problems. Like, oh, hey, this is your. Hey, daddy. Like, what? what? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Charlie. So, um, what did you like about the movie? Oh man, I, I really love love how the pacing of the movie was. Um, me and you actually we went and got to see it see it together on that Thursday night. So we both kind of went in there like, oh, I, I don't know, I'm, I don't know how I really feel about you know, how excited I am about Deadpool. But you know, after that first like fifteen minutes, it really got me geared up. Like I was a uh, Everything was unexpected to me. It was like, whoa, what the world? Just what kind of movie are we watching here? It's like, this is a little too touching Philly, you know, for a Deadpool. I'm like, I feel kind of bad. Like, he's he can't really crack jokes at the beginning of that movie. I was like, I don't know. But then the way that, that he, the way Ryan Reynolds plays Deadpool, and they, everybody just, it's just, I don't know, they do things so perfectly. So they're, they're able to like tie in all the jokes. So what was a serious, sad moment, just, you know, he's able just to just kind of pull right out of that and into back into, you know, the Deadpool comedy thing. So you kind of get the best of the best of both worlds with the with the way the movie's um, flowing. So I really enjoyed that. That was that kind of kept me upbeat. It wasn't too many dead portions, had a little little lag on one particular portion of the movie, but that wasn't very long. But other than that, it was it was really done well. Um, I like. I really like the fighting, like the different fighting styles. Like seeing him fight with the swords on this one a lot was cool, especially at the beginning. He was like just killing dudes, and mm -hmm. well, he was getting killed too. They were win. They were shooting him up a lot of times, but you know he was just using that healing factor and mowing through people. So, so that was that was pretty fun to see him just ch killing everybody. Um, seeing the trying to, to follow the, I guess what his growth as a character was in the movie like seeing him like you know after his girl gets shot and like kind of just seeing him going through that depression and just trying to guess use comedy to kind of just you know 
hide his pain a lot. Like when he was like talking with the little boy and they were in jail and he's like just telling him to like get away from him and stuff and like just cracking up and he was like, I hear you, I hear you in there just fooling around when he was trying to make a shank and stuff. I was uh, about to die when I when it's just like him and that little boy's like <laughs> back and forth. The boy's like just not even focused on like that he's getting killed by a devil every five seconds. But he's just like, yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> we're we're gonna be a team. And like, Jeff was like, you little freaking turd! Like, I can't stand you! Like, get away from me! <laughs> he's just like, just talking junk to him the whole time, and it was just funny. <laughs> and Cable, I've been Cable. T- cable, you know, do this thing. I was, I mean, yeah, he just thing is Thanos, but like, <laughs> that was funny how they used they. He said the Thanos. Um, he, he had that Thanos voice when he was talking to uh, what's um. What's Brian, uh Deadpool's friend, the one that gets him all the uh, gigs, the bartender? Oh, God. What is his name? Uh, T.J. Miller, we'll call him that. He always be making <laughs> all the funny crack-up jokes. But when he was uh, doing the Thanos talk to him, talking about how he was going to, like, show him all these types of pain and stuff, I was, I was, that was, that was funny. So, all those, I mean, there's so many things I can keep going, like the, the X-Force team and everybody dying. <laughs> <laughs> that part right there was just, I was like, I wonder how many of these people are going to be on the next one. It's like, none of them, but none of them. Was it uh, does Terry, Terry Crews? Or Perry, Terry Crews? Yeah, he, mm-hmm. he got destroyed. That dude in the wood chipper was just. <laughs> I'm just laughing, just thinking back at those parts. But yeah, it was a great ride. It was a great ride. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Danny, you had anything? Now that your invasion is over, do you have uh, <laughs> any follow up thoughts as far as uh, things that you like as far as the broad term? No, nah, it was uh, I, I, I mean that was that was pretty much it. He'll, Phil hit on everything. I mean Chuck. I'm sorry. I apologize. Chuck hit on everything. With the Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck it on everything. Um, yeah, the the comedy in it was so great. Um, Zazie Beats did amazing. Uh, they were there wasn't too much of her, but there was just enough. She did the uh, her 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 not not superpower power ended up saving her. That uh, that darn X Force scene was classic. I had never seen anything like that in a movie before. <laughs> that jump was so amazing because I didn't expect it to happen. They was talking about the high winds. Oh, you uh, watch out for the high winds. It's windy. Really uh, and she was like, who, <laughs> like, who would have thought, who who knew it was windy outside? Everybody knew Everybody. it was windy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, did you see that the Vanisher was Brad Pitt? Did y'all see that? Yes, I did see that. I saw yeah. I was like, Brad Pitt on there dying. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. So, uh, yeah, all it's so much in the movie that I that I enjoyed that the few things that I didn't like uh, didn't even really, you know, they weren't even a, a thing. <laughs> uh, so to piggyback right off of X-Force dying, as you were talking about that, it just made me think about something right then. So there's been, uh, I think, three iterations of X-Force in the comic books. The first one was the New Mutants. Uh, which again was like the younger version of the X-Men and then Cable got a hold of them and instead of them, hey, we're going to teach you some stuff. It's like, nah, we're going to be assassins. <laughs> like, We're going to be a strike force. We're going to take it to people. Uh, and then the second iteration, this is one I'm going to talk about here. The third iteration actually in- included Deadpool and Wolverine and Psylocke and they were basically a, a black ops team for the X-Men. So it's slightly different. But the second iteration was completely different. What they did was they completely scrapped the initial X-Force story and they brought in a team and the artwork was completely different and it was like uh, virtual, not virtual reality. Um, what is it when people are like watching you live your real life? What is that called? Voyeurism? <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not no, what that is? Not that one. <laughs> oh. Like Rewires of Hollywood, man. Who lost that voyeurism? I mean, a reality show? I don't know. Reality, it was like it was like a reality TV version of it, and it was it was kind of funny a little bit. It was a completely different take on it. But what happened was they introduced you to this team in the very first episode issue, and then they kill them all off uh, before the issue ends. So in the very se- in the second episode, it's a completely different team. I don't know if they borrowed that idea at all because that comic book I don't think sold very well. 
I don't think it did. But it's interesting that they did that same type of thing, even though it's not the same X-Force team. The fact that they assembled X-Force and then they killed them all off, it is an interesting parallel to the comic book. Uh, you, you, you don't remember that at all, Danny, huh? Mm-mm. No. Yeah, it happened. It was... It was horrible. <laughs> not not the death was horrible. The comic book was horrible. Um, the whole first scene, or the I don't know if that was the first scene, but he's like running through and he's like chopping dudes with the with the uh, chainsaw and just and he's just destroying people. It is hilarious to me. And the old dude is running slow and stuff. Oh my gosh, it was so epic. Like it was just it was great. I loved it. And then um, everything starting with X Force dying on into the traffic scene, like that whole scene right there was like incredible, man. It's like uh, everything that happened with Domino and her luck was just was so awesome. I was like, how are you going to beat her? <laughs> I mean, like how she flew off the train and ended up and hitting a panda, was a giant panda or something like that? You know, some type of balloon. I was a duck. I didn't know what it was. Was it a duck? I don't know. She hit something. Inflatable things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something inflatable. <laughs> you know, um, gosh, it's just so many times where, you know, he was trying to get her. Like, Charlie, like you said, like, she left the uh, the steering wheel and the, the truck drove itself <laughs> for like five or ten like minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> it was like ten minutes of the movie just driving. Like, nobody's driving the truck, guys. It ain't hit nothing yet. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Cable throwing the... Uh, the throwing the cells at Deadpool, that whole scene was awesome. And again, piggybacking off of you, Charlie, how they handled the sadness. They actually did a better job of dealing with sadness than they do in the other Marvel movies. Like again, like you watch a Thor Ragnarok and it's like, oh, you know, my dad died. And then somebody tells a joke, like immediately after that. It wasn't that way. It's like mm-hmm. Deadpool is a funny guy. So it's not, it's not like, it's not, it wasn't a complete contrast. It's, how you would see somebody that's a naturally funny person dealing with grief. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a lot different than somebody dealing with grief and then let me just insert something, let me force something funny into it just for the make the sake of making it funny. It's very different, but I really enjoyed how yeah. they were able to to do that. I mean they, they did a great job with that. And um and him just constantly joking, I think, was definitely reflective of the character. Like a lot of people have mentioned, like a lot of the jokes didn't land, but that's Deadpool. He caught no what there wasn't. It's like he threw like a let's say he threw a hundred and fifty jokes in the whole movie. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe fifty of them, maybe forty of them didn't land. But my God, he just threw them constantly, constantly, constantly. That's Deadpool. And if he didn't do that, if he only waited till he threw jokes that were definitely going to be funny. That's not Deadpool. <laughs> like exactly. that's 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 who the character was. So I think I thought they did a great job with that. So let's Deadpool. get into anything that, that we didn't like. So uh, I'll go back to you, Charlie. Was there anything that you didn't like about the movie? Chuck, excuse me, Chuck. Is anything you didn't like, Chuck? Chuck, Chuck, Boba. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't like that. Do oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Um <laughs> I guess the if I had to say I didn't like that. I got hit real, real yeah. quick. I got I, I got my first I got a real bad beating <laughs> with that. There was this show called um, what was the name of it? Uh, it wasn't a beating, but I just got I got learn I learned real hard not to do that. There was a show called um, Make Me Laugh. Oh, it was like you know, it's like this guy with a paper bag and he's trying to make other people laugh. And so he he goes to this person. He's like Chuck Chuck Bug, Banana Fanta Fo, and he stopped right there. And I had never heard the F word before. I hadn't. I was a, a child. I had never heard it. I heard the S word, the D word, and all the other words. I just hadn't heard this one before. I was like, Dad, what's wrong with me? <laughs> he let you know what and was so wrong with me. My dad is so like, don't, don't you say that word. That's a bad word. Don't you say that. I said, okay. <laughs> chug, chug, boo, buck, banana, fatter. <laughs> And my dad said, wow, oh, I was going to say duck. <laughs> anyway, that's my story. <laughs> Go ahead, Charlie. I didn't mean to t- steal you in your thunder there. Yeah. Change all around. I'm thinking of horrible instances of my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I just like those smacks and those spankings, mama and dad. But um, I guess the, what I could dislike 
Um, some of the CGI was a little corny, but it's okay to me because it's it's Deadpool. So I didn't really like like if I saw some of the CGI like in some of the serious movies like you know Avengers and stuff. Like yeah, it's like okay or Justice League. Mm, like you know, see that type of CGI. You know, I can be a little like okay, y'all can y'all can stop. But um, other than that part of it, uh, the I guess it was like it was like a little lagging portion, like right after. But he was basically after the he went to the X Mansion and the whole the whole um uh what's that scene where he goes to jail like he, that the jail scene all the way up until the new x Force team come i don't know it gets a little slow it's like okay it's fun you get some jokes up but it's like okay i can you know, i'll speed that up a little bit so that's the only part that i can see in the movie theater when i was actually just watching it like i was a little you know less it was my my heightened you know dropped a little bit uh you know just watching the movie so but other than that i think it was a great movie what about you, uh, Danny? A um, couple of things. I mean, like I said, they weren't huge things, but um, one of my favorite, like I said, I really enjoyed seeing the Juggernaut and, um, you know, in the other X-Men movie that he was in, what was it, X-Men 2? Or was it First Class? Which Whichever one it was. Uh, the last thing he was in, that's right. Um, they didn't, like... So, in the in the cartoon... Professor X and Juggernaut are, are things, right? They're step so, half brothers, yeah. Yeah, half brothers. Step brothers. And that was one of the the big things, you know, that made Juggernaut, you know, keep coming up in the in the in the movie. I mean, in the show, that was his half brother, and he was going down the wrong way. He had this, you know, un, he was unstoppable. He was this unstoppable force, and he was a bad guy. So, <clears throat> um, you know, that them not addressing that, you know, since they had already been to the X mansion and uh, you know, him not at least making a joke about that was kind of, I mean, I, you know, that's just one of my personal things. I wish that they would have, you know, kind of fixed. He went, since he went back and f- fixed everything else in the timeline, you know, he, uh, he, he should, uh, you know, uh, address that. That was, that's big to me because, you know, I love juggernaut. Um, well, you, you heard him mention it, right? You heard juggernaut mention that, right? He mentioned his brother. Did he mention his, um, yeah. When he was talking to the little kid when they first got to the orphanage, he said something about the fact that uh, Professor X was his half brother. Okay, see, I should have watched brother. the clear copy like y'all, but I didn't. So that <laughs> that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't hear that. <laughs> gotta get no, all, your you version, gotta get all your version may have been missing a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. It might have been. Uh, <laughs> oh, now you don't mess me up. Oh. Uh, Deadpool putting on that collar at the end, like that was just so dumb to me. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> I understand that you you putting your faith in you know the humanity of this kid, but you haven't seen any humanity in this kid. So why would you think that he wouldn't kill you? Like, <laughs> why would you think that he wouldn't let you die? Mm-hmm. Um, he putting on that he collar. Had faith. I, he had faith, Tori. I understand that he had faith, but I feel you know. I understood it more as him trying to die. Like he, the whole, you know, he had been trying to get to his his wife on the other side. So he wanted to die. Real quick on that, would the boy actually have changed his path if he would have jumped in there and didn't have his, you know, his powers removed? Like him basically sacrificing himself to save the little boy and the boy seeing like he has a collar on, he gonna die, he already knows about his powers. Are you know are going once a dollar, so he's like, oh wow, he this guy actually cares about me, like he really mm-hmm. cares about me because he's gonna die for me. Like if he would have got shot before, like he gets shot all movie, like that's not gonna be a big deal. He gets shot in his hand just by blocking the gun. He uses he uses broken arm to beat up Cable, you know, but, to choke him. So he, <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> but he did that's not why he said he was putting on the car. He didn't say he was putting it on to save his life. He said, if you're gonna kill somebody, it needs to be me. Like, why would that why does he need to kill you? He didn't come there to kill you. Didn't he say that or was my my car? Well, he, he did say that he was basically <laughs> he was basically if you're gonna go down, he's like, if you're gonna go down this path and I haven't fought so hard for you, I'm gonna be the first person that you're gonna kill. You're not gonna go kill somebody else. You know, I like I'm gonna make you have to go down this road because I've been freaking dude from the future the whole movie and i'm trying to get to my wife that's dead so i can see her i need you to, to not do this <laughs> so i think that's kind of like he just like 
took it to the limit. Okay, I give him that. That's cool. I'm cool with that. Like I said, it's not that's not big things. I like I said, I don't I don't have a lot uh that I didn't like about this movie, but uh the only other thing was um oh um him going so I understand it's Deadpool's movie. Okay. Now we all know Deadpool, right? right. <laughs> we all know Deadpool, we know that he's not really a hero. Okay, so why did Colossus put Deadpool in charge? of that mission like why what in his brain said okay it'll be a good idea for me to get to let deadpool be in charge of his first mission as an x-man like <laughs> here deadpool was, you take the lead that doesn't make sense it was comedic, do gold. It was comedic gold that's why he did that <laughs> <laughs> but i'm gonna need colossus to be a little bit smarter than that next time but uh that was it i didn't, i really had nothing bad about it i i really liked it <laughs> um, man, I, I was just about to say, for anything that I didn't like in this movie, I would really be reaching. I mean, I'm being really uh, particular about stuff because there almost was nothing at all. But what you just mentioned gave me a, that didn't make no sense moment just then. Uh-oh. Okay. So after, uh, so after the table went back in time, right, you saw that uh, he saved uh, Deadpool, right? And then uh, after, right after that, they were able to get the collar off pretty easily. Like they put in the number seven. That was hilarious. Okay, well, lucky we girl, already man. saw that Deadpool can basically come back from death, basically because he had a collar on before, and he basically broke his neck. And uh, because he broke his neck, that's what broke the collar, and so he was able to heal himself back from that. So if he was shot dying. Why didn't they just take the collar off? Obviously, it was easy for the board to do. Just pull out the pen out of his butt, stick it in the thing. What's the code? Boom. And he's going to heal just that fast. Like, now that you said that, I realize that takes all of the all of the emotion out of that scene because he, he could have actually just healed easily. So that was a that don't make no I, sense I, moment. I can, I can come. I can. See, I'm going to come after you, too. See, you know what Go ahead. Him. All right. Go ahead. So. If you break your neck, you don't instantly die, okay? Instantly die once your organs and everything fills up and it stops stops going. You can break your neck, but you're still gonna you're still gonna be breathing until you die. So just because he broke his neck does not make him dead. It's okay. just he's he can't move anymore. He's dying, but since the thing came off of him, his body's gonna automatically heal. Uh-huh. Okay. So if he actually would have got oh yeah. Oh, well, we'll talk about this on the next part of what I like, because I forgot about something when we just were talking about him dying. Um, <laughs> so when he got shot, he, he like he had to wait for his body to actually, you know, not heal itself and let, you know, the, wherever the bullet, where did the bullet hit him? In the chest? In the heart, basically. Yeah, hit him in the chest. I mean, I know movies make everybody die like this, but, you know, they, you know you, a lot of times you get people get shot, they'll sit there for a while and... No, until they fill their lungs up with blood and stuff, they're not really gonna die. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess to me, it, it kind of made sense for him not to, not to die instantly. And it, and if he dies with the collar on, then he's gonna be dead completely. Like that's why he kept it on because he actually wanted to die. Right, you're right. Now, let me let me make you regret for coming after me. <laughs> How mm. long did it take him to die? This dude died for 10 minutes straight. You remember? Because, like, he would go, This is really oh, this is so hard. Now. It takes so long. <laughs> like, it takes so long. He died forever. They easily could have taken that collar off and saved his life. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't want them to save his life. That was a big thing. He didn't say not. He didn't tell them not to do that. He didn't say, I just want to go ahead and die. That. He said, I want, this, I want this to happen or something like that. I know he said something like that. I'm going to go back and watch but, it again. But he didn't He didn't tell them, don't take the call off. They didn't even try to take the call off until Cable went back in time and he was okay. Oh, you're okay? Let's bring your powers back. Like, in the time that you actually need your powers when you're dying, how about we go ahead and take the call off <laughs> so you can use your powers? his girlfriend sent him back? Yeah, that because because they saved him yeah, like he after, back in time, after right. he died, right? Yeah, that, yeah. So anyway, other than that, man, I really don't have anything. I mean, gosh. Um, okay, here's something that's really picky. 
Dan, I'm surprised you didn't say this when you're about to bring up the juggernaut. This is exceptionally picky. I mean, very picky. Nothing can stop the juggernaut. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows comics knows nothing can stop the juggernaut. So when he's running at Cable and Cable shot him and he went flying back, I'm like, you can't do that. Nothing can stop the juggernaut. That's the whole point of the juggernaut is that once he gets going in one direction, you can't stop him. Even the Hulk can't stop him. The way that Hulk stopped him is to step out the way and push him further down in the direction that he's going. But once he gets going, you can't stop him. So that was very, that was exceptionally small. Other than that, um, like, like you said, Charlie, it slowed down at one point. I would say it started right after he died in the beginning where he blew himself up. I think it slowed down there. But, and it was still funny at points, but it did slow down. But the whole rest of the movie, starting with uh, X-Force and from the end, it made up for that. So it's hard for me to say that I didn't, that I didn't like that. And um, the only thing I didn't like, gosh, other than that, Nothing about the movie. I hated the fact that people on the internet spoiled the fact that the juggernaut was in the doggone movie, man. That oh. I was it just pissed me off, man. I'm like watching us like, yep, that it looks like it's about to be the juggernaut. Oh, that's the doggone juggernaut. Like, gosh, it'd have been so much more exciting if I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know either. Gotta stay off the internet, bro. Yeah, you gotta stop stop all the social it's hard media, to, but you gotta just just back away for a little bit. When you have a YouTube show that you're trying to promote on the internet. <laughs> oh, one more thing before we go to the rapid fire session. I do right. not like Dopender. I hope the I hope that uh he becomes a villain in the next movie because who? I want to bathe in their blood and stuff like that. That was just <laughs> he was going a little too far for me. Who like, was it? The the driver. Driver. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was reaching a little bit too much on this movie. Going, going a little too far. <laughs> that would be good, actually. That would that would actually make logical sense for him to be the bad guy. For them to take like another character and actually let Dupender be him. Like uh Gideon is another character that appeared at the same time as Deadpool and Domino, and he's an immortal uh mutant. So uh, that would be a, a, a good person for him to, to turn into if they did a Deadpool 3. Guys, we have so much that we could talk about that we liked about this movie. What we decided to do, if we all liked it together, is that we would just start rapid firing some stuff right at y'all so y'all can laugh at the stuff as you remember. So um, what, uh, what, what I, we're not going to discuss it. We're just going to shoot it out. One of my favorite things was uh, Professor X, I mean, sorry, uh, Deadpool riding Professor X's chair. Hilarious. Danny? Hilarious. Oh, um, one of my favorite things was the fact that Deadpool has clearly seen every Marvel movie that has ever come out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Uh, <laughs> it's my turn. Yeah, go ahead, Charlie. I guess uh, mine is um, the slow jam, the music, just like him putting the slow jam music throughout the whole movie. That uh, <laughs> it was just. Fun. It was like great time and like they're like the uh, dang bridge is crumbling and everybody's like dying and stuff and the slow music comes on that he was that happened in the beginning like just having those points when they just drop that music was just hilarious to me mm -hmm. I was <laughs> rapidly as I watched that um him trying to cut the bullets in half when Cable was firing at him <laughs> like he did in uh in, in Wolverine and he like he got the first one and, and then the rest of them shot him. That was hilarious. <laughs> Daddy, what you got? Was that um the song that he was like, there was a song in the beginning where he was like, I feel like I've heard the song before. Oh, was the he, Frozen song? Yeah, uh, that was supposed to be the, the, so he was saying that they ripped that off, ripped the Frozen song off, right? Uh-huh. That was dope. I caught that. I like that. <laughs> seeing, um, seeing when the Juggernaut came out and just ripped that, he said, I'm going to rip you apart now. <laughs> You're my favorite X Man. I was like, oh gosh, it's like, is he really gonna rip him? He ripped him apart. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, oh, I'm sorry. This this goes with that scene. His the baby feet, the baby feet. Oh, you took, you oh took my god, and the baby balls. I'm sorry, that was horrible. <laughs> and it was so funny though. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, that whole scene. 
Oh boy. Um him after um the dude killed uh, Vanessa and then he actually caught Deadpool caught up with him and like he hugged him. I was like, why is he hugging this guy? Oh, and then he took him and threw him in front of a truck. I was like, oh, what the heck? And then the, and then the movie the music drops. Right. <laughs> the music drops. <laughs> Daddy. Um, my last one is uh, that gray. Um, a lot of people didn't like the gray suit when he was all covered in gray. Oh, that was cool. If you if you know the comics, you know that he when he was part of the X Force, he had a gray costume. It was kind of white, but it was like a gray um, a gray Deadpool costume that he used to wear when he was with the X Force. So I caught that. That was pretty cool that they do that in there. He actually had a yellow one too. So I guess maybe that's what they were doing with the uh, when he had on the yellow X. The T-shirt. Oh, the training. Kind of referencing that. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, I I like I like that they did that. That was cool. That's my last one. Okay, uh, Charlie, I got some more. So we go. I, I, had, I had a uh, I had a question. What the heck is his suit made out of? I know you, I, he pulled himself up in the suit. He just like, got a bunch of suits in the closet or something. Cause that like he had some tape on it at one point. Back some together, tape yeah. on there. It was like those, <laughs> them, all the bullet holes are getting shot up. Like them the thing is still sitting there chilling. But uh, I guess one of um the the when he the way they he intertwines Wolverine and Logan throughout the movie, especially like that first thing when he's on the uh when he's he's dead on the log. <laughs> When it first comes on, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm going to die in this one too, Wolfie. I was like, oh God, this, this dude is true. I just, I laughed so hard. He's, he's, he's great. He's a great uh, Deadpool. I don't know. Nobody can play Deadpool like Ryan. Yeah. He was I'm going to steal one of yours because uh, I didn't think about it until you mentioned it earlier. When he, uh, I guess Cable broke his arm or somehow his arm was broken. Oh, and now he yeah. used it. <laughs> and he he was used it away. <laughs> That was hilarious, bro. Oh, oh. I lied. I got another one. I lied. I got another one. <laughs> that they called, um, and when they was talking about it on the news, they said that it was the Essex House of Mutant Rehabilitation or something like uh -huh. that. It was like the Essex, Essex House or something that they were uh, they were going from. That Essex is for uh, is a reference to Doctor Sinister or Mister Sinister. Mm -hmm. So, you know that they uh, referenced him in that last. Um, uh, apocalypse uh, x-men apocalypse so you know i like that he kind of tied all the movies together he, he uh especially in the well that's my i'll use that one as my next one go ahead chuck <laughs> <laughs> i really like i like the end credits were so funny like oh. when he just now i'm gonna start about one when he goes back and you see the uh deadpool off of the Origins Wolverine. <laughs> and like, he pulls out with the things that they do to start shooting them and he's like so I just had to take care of a couple of Tom. He's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, just like his body, like down to get shot up. I was, it was so funny. And why do people leave do these movies? Like, why? Just sit down. You just ruin it for yourself. You're standing down there looking dumb at the bottom. So right. Gosh, I don't even know. Um, Shadowstar getting sliced into bits by the helicopter. That was hilarious. But when he jumped out and then. <laughs> He was gone. Green liquid. Yes. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Danny, you asked, are you tapped out? Um, I will say he uh he called out Rob Lightfield uh when he was talking about uh <laughs> when he say uh, he said uh somebody who can't draw feet mm -hmm. and uh he was talking about Rob Lightfield, so that's a that's a you know a, a comic a comic book industry inside joke that dude never draws feet. Uh -huh. Any of his comics, he, will, <laughs> he never draws the character so that the feet are hit, or he will put him out of frame. But that dude will not draw feet. He he also used to have like a like a a star like on the crotch. I don't know if you talk know what I'm talking about, but it's like a like a sunburst. So anytime you see somebody's crotch, it's like a sunburst coming out of it. It's just yeah. I don't know if you ever noticed that. <laughs> so. Uh, that reminds me. That reminds me of when um, uh, Deadpool talks to what's his girlfriend every time. He's just like, "Hi, what's the little name? <laughs> the, the little pink hair girl." Mm. <laughs> hey, you kill. Hey, you kill. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Was that your next one? 
Oh no, well that could be one. I just thought about it when you did this. All right. It's like <laughs> Um, so you mentioned scenes at the end. So yeah, him him shooting Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> when he, he got the green, green lantern, lantern. Trip, he's like, this is going to be great. <laughs> he shot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right, I just got one more left. Uh, I, that's all I can think of. Go ahead, Daddy, you got, if you got another one. Uh, I'm tapped out. He's tapped out. All right, go I'm ahead, Charlie. Out. I'm good. I got to think for more. I don't want to think because then I'll start going down a rabbit hole again, so. Go ahead. <laughs> the last one I can think of is um, when he finally decided to take um, at the beginning at the orphanage, when he finally decided he was going to take um, the kid down, um, Fire Fist, as he called him, <laughs> he turned around and threw the sword at him. That was great. Like He threw like, because he thought, was, oh, my God, he just killed the kid. And uh, he was able to do it so that the, the, the hilt hit him in the head, knocked him out. That was awesome. That was great. I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's all I can remember. <laughs> So I'm not going to even ask you guys, should, should people watch the, the movie? Obviously, they should watch it. They probably should pay for it. But according to Danny, that's not required. So um, closing thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, any closing thoughts, sir? No, nah, man. Just, I mean, I'm excited to see. Uh, well, we got Solo coming up next. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see the next movies that are coming down. You know, I'm glad we kind of went to the. Avengers thing, we kind of hit that peak, and now we can just enjoy movies. We won't have to go try to think and figure out everything, and we can just enjoy going to watch movies now for a little bit. Nice. So, All right. That's about it. Danny, any closing thoughts, sir? Yeah, I agree with Chuck, man. I'm I'm enjoying um enjoying movies. I'm actually I'm planning on going to pay for a ticket to watch Deadpool. Um, so. Uh, you know, I'm I'm down with that. My my little brother's in town. I want to go see it with him. But um, we might. I think we might have a special guest next week for Solo. Um, he he. There is a surprise. He probably is one of the only person, only people in the world to to have this combination of things. So, um, hopefully, if he if he shows up, uh, we'll have a good show for y'all next week. Nice. Guys, we're very excited. We just hit 100 subscribers. We're really excited about that. Sorry to date this show when we have a million subscribers and people go back and look. Yeah, we had 100 subscribers at some point. But that's that's what we got right now. <laughs> 101, actually. Very, very excited. So uh, the, the crew decided we're going to give you guys something. So we just need you guys to answer a trivia question. And if you can ask the first person to answer this trivia question, we'll get a prize coming from Color Commentary. If you guys would just um, answer the question, and we will contact you directly to get your address and stuff and uh, send it to you. So here we go. Here's the question. After Deadpool, I'm sorry, after Cable left, X-Force was led by what immortal mutant after cable <laughs> x-force was led i guess you could call him his deputy leader like he formed did the same role as cyclops did before you got professor x cyclops you got cable and you got this guy he was the basically the deputy leader of x-force what e what was the name of this immortal mutant that's your question first person to answer will get us a uh, prize from color commentary <laughs> when the video goes up be ready <laughs> be prepared <laughs> all right uh but yeah make sure to check out our um description box so you can see other videos like ours please make sure to uh like our video if you liked it and of course you know you gotta subscribe to survive thanks again for watching color commentary where you give you views from a different side peace and it's gotta be I don't have a clue as what to do for our um end scene for this one. And it's gotta be That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to